They call it a housing crisis, but the crisis is what has happened to families who are forced out of their homes because of increasing costs or an environment of violence or both. Homelessness in Boise and Ada County is on the rise, with the pandemic certainly exacerbating an existing problem. Trying to survive on unemployment or low wages in a place where housing costs are jumping every month well, doesn't work out too well for too long. Just last month, the city of Boise helped 900 families with their emergency rental program financed by federal COVID relief funds. But that money won't last long. So the city is hoping their campaign to end family homelessness will help them get out in front of a problem that has, especially over the last year, put a lot of people on their heels. For example, the city's Ending Family Homelessness webpage, which they began more than a year ago, says they have 166 families in Ada County on a wait list for housing. And now? We're looking at about 250 families that are currently on our waiting list to be rehoused. And our hope is that we can rehouse those families. Right now, they've been on the waiting list for about two years is the waiting list wait time, which is much too long. Those families are um, in shelter, they are outside, they are trying to uh, maintain jobs and keep their children in schools. And um, they're looking for permanent housing with case management support. So that has grown slightly. And we're looking at about 250 families on that waiting list and we're hoping to rehouse those people. Homelessness comes in many shapes and sizes from individuals to families. They all may have traveled different paths to this point, but the root cause is the same, the loss of a place to live. From a family homelessness perspective, the majority of family homelessness in Ada County comes as a result of domestic violence. And that is women and children fleeing a violent situation in their home. Andrea shared a story of a child who illustrated his family's journey into and out of homelessness. From fleeing a violent home, to a church, to a shelter, to a waiting list, to living outside, to finally finding an apartment. The family, now stabilized, needing just a few months' rent. Is that the case of majority of, of the homeless families, that it's just a matter of a couple of months' rent? Every family um, is different, right? But the average, and believe it or not, this number sounds relatively small to me, although it's large to many families, but it really catches um, data over 10 years shows it takes only about $3,000 total to support a family. And we think that that is an incredibly worthy investment. And we know that if we can clear that 250 uh, family waiting list, we can lower that number because it's much more efficient and much cheaper to keep someone in their existing home than to try to rehouse them. Because property and housing is in such short supply right now in the Treasure Valley, in Ada County, and in Boise. How do you put low income housing or affordable housing on a priority list? So it, first off, it has to be on a priority list. So we, we just do it. And then of course, you know, these are tough, tough issues. So we need partners um, that are willing to build homes. Um, and then the, we work with neighbors and others to make sure that we're placing them in a way that can create neighborhoods, strong, safe, stable neighborhoods, for the families and individuals that need those homes badly. A few examples of what's worked so far in Boise include New Path Community Housing, now home to more than two dozen individuals, Valor Point, a 27-unit home to formerly homeless vets, and Adair Manor, with its 134 affordable apartments. And breaking ground this year will be this development at Franklin and Orchard, with a goal of 200 variably priced homes connected to a park all part of a private-public partnership and a plan of increasing investment in prevention, case management, and rental assistance. So this campaign to end family homelessness, what's the goal? The goal is to raise $8.6 million, and we believe that that supplements our um, current government support of homelessness. We will clear the 250-some families on the waiting list and they will be housed and that the goal is that no family will experience more than 60 days of homelessness either in shelter or in temporary housing whether that's sleeping on a family's couch or um, sort of working to um, seek other resources through family and friends. That goal that they refer to as reaching functional zero eliminating that wait list. That's not eliminating homelessness mind you but it's just being able to house just as many families as are losing theirs. 
This five year campaign was actually started at the end of 2019, but like everything else, took a backseat to the pandemic. So now the goal is 2026, but the city of Boise helped kickstart it with a $2 million investment and Ada County kicked in another 500,000. The hope is the rest comes from private donors. And along with those places like Adair Manor that we mentioned, the mayor says to keep an eye on 6th and Grove, where more than half of that complex will be affordable units. A future project at 17th and Idaho is expected to be built with the same criteria. With a lot of the pieces already in place, like the Our Path Home and Catch programs and Jesse Tree, which helps prevent evictions, and the 30 plus agencies working in a public private partnership, Mayor McLean believes the foundation is already built for this campaign to be successful. With the ultimate goal, she said, to keep Boise, Boise, where people still care about each other.